I'm Barbara, welcome back to my channel. Just kidding, you've never been here before because I've never made a YouTube video before and I've always wanted to. Um, so yeah, this is my first one and I am a fraudulent baker. When I say fraudulent baker, I realize how expensive it is to buy a decorated cake for like a birthday party, all of that stuff, it's not cheap. Um, so I kind of figured out a way to finesse it and it's actually become like a stress reliever for me. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to make one of the most basic cakes ever, ever. Um, I, I take it back. I'm not gonna teach you how to make it. I'm gonna teach you how to decorate it. Um, I've already baked some cake yesterday. Um, it's my friend's birthday and she likes yellow cake with chocolate icing. So we're gonna make a yellow cake, we're gonna do chocolate icing, and then we're gonna like rosette the icing so it looks like it came from a bakery. Um, she likes sunflowers, so we're gonna put some sunflowers on the top of it and go from there. So yeah, so like I said, I baked some cake yesterday. When you bake a cake, um, nine times out of 10 it domes. So I are gonna have to like trim them so that they're level so that when we stack them, they're flat and the cake is upright because no one likes a leaning cake. So I'll show you how to do that. Key to success, serrated knife. <laughs> One day I'll tell you guys my cake recipe and you're gonna be like, <laughs> who would've thought? Let's see if I can move this so that you can see what I'm doing. Not so much my face. Okay, so. Um, I baked them yesterday, like I said, and I wrapped them up in saran wrap. It's the best way to kind of like keep them moist. And I also refrigerated them overnight. Um, another thing that's I found when baking cakes or decorating cakes rather, is that a cold cake is gonna leave you with less crumbs and less problems. So this is pretty good. It's not really domed because I baked it with a bake even strip around it, which is basically like a wet strip that kind of like helps the cake bake more flat than like dome. Um, I only have round ones. So I'm really only able to use it on round cakes. If I ever make a sheet cake for you guys, you'll see the genuine struggle and the amount of cake that goes thrown away, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so when you straight a knife, Taking the dome off, basically the top, we're gonna end up with something like this. So. See, cold cake, it comes off in one single piece. Um, so we're gonna do that with the third layer as well. So I've never made a YouTube video, um, but I feel like everyone should know how to decorate a cake because honestly, who wants to buy a $150 cake when you can make it for 50? I don't know. Um, so you'll notice this cake baked higher than this cake. And that was because I was super lazy and I didn't measure like the amount of cake mix that's gonna go into each pan when I baked it. So like I said before, yellow cake, chocolate icing is her jam. So I made some chocolate icing before I decided to film this video. Um, I made a dark chocolate fudge and I also made like a milk chocolate. To be honest with you, I know the girl just likes chocolate icing. I don't know if she likes dark chocolate icing or milk chocolate icing. The only difference is one is made with dark chocolate cocoa powder and one's made with regular cocoa powder. Um, so yeah. I guess I made more of the milk chocolate, so we're gonna fill the cake with milk chocolate because we just have more of it. Let's just keep it 100. Um, okay, so if you have a swivel, your life will be easier. So I have a swivel. Um, again. a ton of milk chocolate. And just to give you guys an idea of the contrast we're going for, here is uh, the dark chocolate. It's a really heavy bowl, not so much heavy frosting. Um, 
So, board. I used icing to get the cake to stick to the board. And now, we're gonna fill it. A lot of people will use like a piping bag to make sure that each in between each layer is the same amount of icing. Like I said, we're fraudulent baking here. We're not, you know, we're not trying to get rich off of it. So we're not gonna do all that. We're just gonna fill it up. Um, and another thing about like baking your cake before you frost it and refrigerating it um, before you decide to level it and frost it is that um, you don't get as many crumbs. Crumbs are really annoying when you're trying to decorate a cake because you're gonna decorate it and then you're gonna have like crumbs everywhere. It's not gonna look cute. Just fill it up till your heart's content. There's gonna be a ton of icing on the outside of this cake because it's gonna be rosette. So don't go wild on the inside is what I'm trying to get across my point. to even it out as much as possible okay so when you stack your cake you want to pick the most even one for the top so i think i'm going to save this one because look how beautiful it looks for the top and then i'm going to use this one for the middle um cake is delicate it will crack and i always flip it this way so bottom cut side to cut side the side you shave, the side you shave, I guess, what I'm getting at. And we're gonna fill it again. And again, the part that was in the pan needs to be the top. The part that was in the pan needs to be the top if you want a smooth cake. Okay? Okay. So, there we go! Three layer cake, guys. It's that simple. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make like a rosette cake. I'll try to insert a picture here. I don't know how YouTubers do it, but I'll put it here. Um, and it's really popular. It's just, honestly, it's a ton of buttercream and a little bit of patience. So our stacked cake, the next thing you want to do is kind of like even it out because sometimes when you're throwing cake layers on top of each other, it can get off balance um, just because you're throwing it. <laughs> so it looks pretty even though y'all um another thing is that when you have really really tall cakes you might want to stick something inside of it to make it stabilize so also when you're tearing cakes if i were to put a baby cake on top of this cake you might want to stick a dowel inside of here to make it strong enough to hold your second cake because it's august now so if i were to take a two-tier cake somewhere and sit it out like it might melt implode into each other and that's what we don't want but since this cake is just one cake it's not going to be tiered and it's really not that high if i'm honest like my hand is not even that high um i'm not gonna bother jamming stuff inside to stabilize it because it's cold um my icing is pretty cold because i did refrigerate it after making it for like 10 minutes if you guys want to know how to make buttercream like let me know it's not like a recipe, but I could show you. Um, so now we're gonna wanna crumb coat it. So when you're rosetting a cake, as you can see, it's covered in roses. Um, but you're gonna be able to see parts of the cake. So sometimes it's helpful to put like a crumb coat on it. Um, another thing that I learned is that decorating cake with a damp or smoothing out frosting with a damp tool is always easier than smoothing out frosting with a dry tool. I know it sounds kind of gross, but I didn't make the rules, I just play by them. We had a lot of the milk chocolate one. 
like I said earlier, so maybe that's the one we'll use to crumb coat it. We don't have to put a lot. I'm not even gonna bother putting any on the top because I feel like I'm pretty confident I'll be able to cover the top in roses without having like weird gaps in coverage. So you can do, oops, you can do frosting um, with a piping bag. I do that if I'm going to make a smooth buttercream outside. I'll use a thicker amount of icing because it's going to give you more to play with. It's going to give you more to smooth without like digging into your cake. But this again, rosettes, the easiest one that I know how to make. So not even going to bother. And I really, I can't stress this enough. Especially if your rosettes are going to be the same color as your cake, like don't put a whole bunch of icing on the outside, y'all. You're just gonna like really give your people cavities. You don't want cavities. Honestly, buttercream's really sweet too, so it might just be too much sugar. But it's not necessary, but you can use this when you're decorating cakes to like smooth this out. Um, so they're that better. And you can smooth it out this way. Again, if you're doing like a buttercream cake that's just like super smooth, if you just get this with hot water and then wipe it off really quick with your towel, whoo, girl, your cake will be so smooth and so beautiful, but we're not even going that far. But this, I just wanted to show you guys, this is actually, a tool that will help you not hurt you okay but patience is really what's going to help you more than anything this tool everybody's going to do anything if you ain't got no patience okay um not the roses okay so what we're going to use is a 1m I think that's what it's called um i've always wanted to do this ah it's a 1m tip it's really your best friend for roses. I have two of them because I'm gonna do two different colors, two different flavors of roses. So yeah, and a piping bag is gonna be your friend. Just disposable ones because my dad is actually a baker. Believe it or not, I didn't get, I got this naturally. Um, so my dad's a baker. So I get all the tools for the loaf. So, I don't know, do you guys wanna do this? I guess not. Your tip inside of your bag, your piping bag, squeeze it all the way down to the bottom, obviously, and then you're gonna get some scissors. Ooh, and cut off the end. Just until, like, let me scoot you closer, y'all. Just until the, the stars come out of the plastic. If you cut too much, your frosting will come out of not only the star, but the bag. We don't want that. Um, easiest way to fill a piping bag is to wrap it around your hand, I guess. So it was up, then we're gonna pull it down over our hand, like so, because then it makes a hole for us to put the icing in. We're just gonna fill it up. Um, when you're ooh, when you're filling up a piping bag, though, y'all, you don't want to fill it up too much because you're gonna lose control over actually how you're holding the bag and then how you're able to therefore pipe the things you're piping. So I never really fill it up too much. So, we'll start with the top. Let me see if I can get a better angle for you guys. Here is the cake. There is me. Stand this up differently and point this down. Okay, so the top of your cake, my belly button, all of that good stuff that you love. A rose is like an E. A lowercase e. And I guess we'll just start on the edge. E 
that's it. Complicated? I don't think so. So we'll do the whole top. See these gaps I'm talking about? We'll fill those in with stars. So y'all, like I don't really know what to put on the channel. Like I told you, my baking is fraud, as in, it's far from professional, but I don't think anyone should be paying $200 for a cake if you could do it at your house. That's all I gotta say. Um, so these holes at the top, we could just fill them with stars. Stars, mini circles, whatever you gotta do, just fill it up. Cause we really don't wanna see yellow cake, y'all. Like we don't. Oh, you might want to see it, huh? Just watch me go around. Nothing to see. To decorating flower success. The refrigerator! Okay, let's talk about the refrigerator. Like I said before, buttercream does what? It melts. It's butter. So when you're decorating something that's gonna take you a long time, no one said don't put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes to get a little hard so it stays your shape. So let's do that. So like, I don't know y'all, like what do you wanna see? Like what do you wanna bake? Do you wanna bake cupcakes? I really gotta make some cupcakes. Do you wanna bake cupcakes? Do you wanna bake cookies? We can learn together how to do some stuff. Um, how to make frosting, we can do that. We can do, we can really do anything you guys wanna do. We can talk about anything you guys wanna talk about. Um, we can even cook food. You wanna eat? What you wanna eat? Um, but yeah, so I subscribe to this here channel cause Barb's is gonna be bacon. And talk to me, let me know what we should film, what we should learn how to do together, what I can teach you guys how to do in the kitchen when it comes to cooking with sugar. Um, and not cooking with sugar cause I know how to cook some food that's not a cake or cupcakes. Um, but yeah, like subscribe. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Just like I wanted to do this my whole life. <laughs> Remember her? She's back. Dark chocolate. Get her done. We have a gap here, so we can overlap our gap with this, which is what I'm gonna do. Some people prefer to go from bottom to top because they don't have an overlap, but we're just trying to go for an ombre chocolate look. We're not going for perfect roses because, let's be honest, you can't decorate that with chocolate. It's brown. So we're just gonna overlap it and give it a little bit more dimension before we add our flowers and call it a day. So now we have our little, the murder scene, chocolate goes everywhere. Easiest cake you ever make is a rose cake. Like I said, a little bit of patience, a lot of buttercream, goes a long way. All right, y'all, that's it. We baked a cake. A cute one, if I might say so myself. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, thanks for commenting, thanks for subscribing to my little amateur cake video. Um, I hope it gives you a little bit of inspiration to just give it a shot on your own because it's really not that hard, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want me to try to do because I'll try it. I don't know if we'll be successful, but I'll definitely try it and I'll think about it and I'll plan about it because that's just who I am and we'll figure it out. But until next time, y'all.